Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Tony and as you know this is my workshop and I've just finished my M26 Persian tank. I've got a little bit more work to do on it. I'm just waiting for my scale figure to come and operate as the 50 cal MG uh, crew, the sort of handler and crew member. Uh, and when I've got him all set up on the Persian tank, I will do some more driving videos and I will definitely get the Tiger out and we'll do a little bit of a face off like I said before and have some fun with that. But um, as you know, uh, and as I've posted on my on my channel, I'm going to start another build. Um, I'm really excited about this particular build. And I love the fact that you guys um, started having guesses of what it was. And actually, I was quite impressed that a couple of you got it straight off. Um, a couple of you had, a, you know, had to have a couple of chances at it. But, you know, you, you've nailed it in the end. And uh, thank you for all the positive comments I've had on that and the previous build of the M26 and, of course, the Tiger. Um, I really hope you're going to follow me on this build. Um, and in a moment, uh, I will uh, sort of let you know what we're going to be building on this session. And I'm going to ask Ben, with the magic of his uh, editing skills, to uh, now reveal what we're going to build. Yes, of course, it's the Jag Panzer 38, or as the German crews used to nickname it, what well, was in fact the Hetzer. So uh, well done for all of you who got it right. Um, and I'm really excited about building this kit. Now, I have looked at this in the past and I did consider it, um, but I went for the larger, slightly larger tanks. This is going to be a smaller unit, but nonetheless, um, just as challenging to build. And that's what I wanted. Um, interesting uh, tank, actually, because when it was brought into service in around about mid-1944, it soon became um, well respected by the German crews uh, because it was a, a real tank killer. Um, I think the literal translation of Hetzer is something like agitator or chaser. Please forgive me for anybody, uh, any of my followers from Germany if I've got that wrong. Um, and although that's not the official name, that's what I'm going to call it from now on because it's a lot easier to say than Jagdpanzer 38. And my German pronunciation is not that good, so apologies for that. But it's a really interesting kit um, and I think Armatech have done a great job uh, of sort of representing this particular model. It's got a different suspension system, which I'm really looking forward to, to getting involved. It doesn't have a turret, um, and there's going to be some other things. And I will go through some of the, the sort of the research that I've done on this particular model as we build it, because it's quite unique. Um, and the reason why it was quite successful is because it's got a, quite a low profile, the angular shape of the main sort of shape of the, the hull of the tank uh, meant it would deflect uh, munitions and rounds as they came in. Um, it had a stronger front than sides, which we'll go on to uh, in a moment. But what's unique about it is because of the low profile, it created a very shallow silhouette. So it was very difficult for um, you know the opposition to uh, pick it out. And it could also hide quite discreetly in bushes and uh, in sort of landscape areas um, and the terrain, which made it a great uh, like ambush type vehicle. Uh, it was a crew of four that operated it had a single main gun and it had a remote control mg34 um, and uh, we'll go through all of that in a month well, as i go through the build so um, enough of that for now so in a moment i'm going to reset the camera uh, we'll start getting these boxes opened and i'll go through every part of the kit with you and we'll take it from there Right, so um, just about ready to go. So before we start, it, it, the actual um, Hertzer comes in two boxes from Armatec. I have a third box here, but that's actually the drive motors. And I've got these um, because I understand that these need to be installed fairly early on in the build. Um, not quite sure what part or sequence of the build that's going to be, but I thought I'd go ahead and get just the drive motors uh, so I can get those installed. Um, and when it becomes apparent they need to be installed. So that's that. So it comes in two boxes. So if you're ordering one of these from Armatech, it'll order, it'll come to two boxes. And I think the combined weight is around about 40 kilos. Um, so this is box one of uh, two, although it's three, you will get two boxes. Uh, the large box here and this uh, square box here, or this small rectangular box, I should say. So let's get cracking. And as always, we're gonna open up the box very carefully so I understand that the Hertzer was um, built by Skoda um, and based on a, an earlier design chassis and, and it's quite an interesting sort of development of the Jag Panther tanks themselves so this is 
always uh, that Christmas morning feeling. Um, and again, we're sort of presented with, I'm just gonna, for the sake of this, I'm just gonna take off these main flaps. And I actually use those for building a temporary spray booth. So apologies, I'm just taking that out of camera. Well, let's block the camera. Just doing this to make it a little bit easier to talk you through all the components. Now, the thing is, I was looking at the other models that uh, Armatech have currently got out there, but um, this model comes in slightly cheaper than the others. Um, and I really wanted to have a go at building something like this because it's so different. Um, and I don't know if you've seen their website recently, but there is the Leopard has been, uh, been released very soon. Um, and I would have loved to build one of those, but I've uh, made the decision to go for the Hertzer and uh, super, super, super excited about it. So we have our packing list as always, and we have this, just checking, you can see this, you can. We have this multitude of packing peanuts as always. Um, one thing, oh, there it is. This is the, again, the all important certificate. This is, um, so this is uh, a number 14, 2022, number 14. Um, and all the instructions that we're gonna need to build this are in this pack along with this certificate. I'm, I should really sort of, I will get around to doing it, but I'll probably frame all these up at some stage um, when I've stopped, um, when I've got over my um, incurable habit at the moment of building these amazing kits. So that's that, we'll um, put that safely to one side, out of the way, and we'll get on um, trying to get this on packed. So what's this here? Right, okay, so that must be the, the main I think that might be the main gun, gun mount lid. I don't know. But, um, what's it say on here? It says, oh, it's the mount lid bush. So gun mount and mount lid bush. Um, again, I'm not going to unpack every plastic bag. Uh, so I don't think you need to see that. But I mean, it's, I'll, I'll get it up reasonably close to you. So it's packed in here. It's got its plastic bush. Obviously for, I'm guessing it will, it does recoil. But anyway, that's the bush or the main gun mount. Let's have a look. Um, what are these? Suspension arms, because I think this is a leaf suspension system. So you get a nice pack. Again, look at the, look, just looking at the engineering of these these components. I just love handling the, these metal components. They're beautifully made. Um, and so that's so the suspension. I'm, I'm saying as if I know what they are. I, I don't, but I'm just reading off the, the bag of what it tells me. Um, this is the outer drive case. Two of those in there, one either side, obviously. Don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I think you can. Um, again, there's no point me unpacking these because I'm just going to get myself in a nice state of flux uh, later on down the line. Uh, and there's a more, this must be left and right hand, I guess. Suspension arm, right hand, yes. So one side is left, one side is uh, right. So that's another bag of those, but one's left and one's right. And that's what I'm saying. If you start unpacking these straight away you can get confused so leave them in the bags until you've unpacked everything checked against the packing list um, and we've got a sprocket hub a lot smaller than the um the tiger and the pershing but still beautifully made just the engineering just just blows me away um and the, 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 i know it's early days but i'm i'm already s sort of buzzing about getting started on the build of this so just carefully just this Aha, this is the main gun house. So we can unwrap, I'm going to unwrap this. Because this is, again, it's beautifully, look at that, beautifully cast. A beautiful piece of machinery. Um, some sharp edges, which we'll remove, a bit like the Persian tank in the casting, but you know, it's got a really good solid feel to this. Um, and uh, I I just, again, I just, just can't get over the, the quality, the engineering that you get with Armatech. Um, and I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm so glad I chose this model because um, already it just feels different, um, a different challenge um, and something to help me continue to develop my skills and learn. So yeah, I'm really pleased with that. What do I'll just pop that back in that um, just for now, just to stop that getting damaged. And let's have a look, see how we're getting on. Right, what's this? 
the inner drive case actually so that's quite big these are quite big there's two of these and they're, they're angled and maybe you can see make that out in the camera um so again everything on like so when i was unpacking the persian and i was doing a lot of comparisons to the tiger i was able to kind of work out oh that's a torsion bar suspension arm that's this that's that but this is so far nothing familiar whatsoever and that's what i wanted i wanted something different um to challenge me so really super super looking forward to getting building on this what else have we got in here that's a heavy old piece this must be the bag of wheels so there's the first bag of wheels and this is uh, road wheel and hubcaps eight in that bag some weight in that again beautifully made i'm not sure if you can sort of make that out i'm not going to unpack these going to keep them in their bag i'll unpack things that um i'm not going to be too concerned about um losing parts of Way. I don't know how I'm going to store all these tanks when I finish. I haven't, I'm, be, I'm beginning to think about that, but it hasn't crossed my mind too much. Um, so we've got uh, a bogey frames, four of them, four number bogey frames in there. Um, and we will be obviously getting those unpacked and going through these in a lot more detail. And the, the way they pack these is, from Armatec is incredible. Right, so we've got here, we've got idler, so we've got two idler wheels. We can un I'll put unpack these because it's going to be pe fairly obvious what they are. Just going to have a look and see how they're made. And again, it's just beautiful. Just feels right in your hand. Everything about the engineering on this is incredible. Really, really, really pleased with that. Um, yeah, and they're identical, I believe. They're identical. So there's two of those. So they can go away out of the way for now and we've got uh what is this a rear cover i think that goes on the back um on the back of the tank so it's just a looks like, like a mexican hat at the moment and uh please forgive me as i keep saying i'm not an expert in this uh it's a sprocket ring okay so there's four there uh they're familiar aren't they these ones although they look and feel different we know what they are by just simply looking at them so um, I'm guessing a similar kind of process to building this as the other two tanks I've already built. And what else have we got in here? Right, so we have the rubber tyres. Right, and you remember the fun we had putting them on the Persian. So far, the, uh, they're holding up well. I've, I've driven it a few times, um, but I know I spoke to a couple of mates, um, and they've got, not the Persian, but they've got... Uh, rubber road wheels and they tell you you just have to be mindful that they can the, the, the glue can break down over time so um, I'm guessing we can probably do them a similar way as I did with the Persian tank by gluing these on so the rubber tyres and what we got here so this is a rear mud guard I mean it's fairly obvious really because what I'm doing I'm, I'm looking over here because as per the previous two tanks gone ahead and got myself a really good reference book i did a bit of research about the best one and i think this is it it's got some amazing photography uh and drawings about the hertzer um and it's going to help me through the whole process of the build and eventually when i get around to it um i am going to be doing like a camouflage finish on this which will be the first time i've done one of those um and this is going to help me decide what one i go for but this is just a really good reference book. And again, I would recommend, highly recommend, um, if you're going to build any of these tanks, uh, get yourself one of these, you know, small amount of money. Um, and, you know, that's a be beautifully referenced set of markings for the, vari the, the, like the variables on it. So get yourself one of these books because um, it will be invaluable in the build. So I'm not going to unpack these mud guards. It's, it's fairly obvious by looking at them. Uh, what, what they are it says rear mud guard so they're the ones obviously at the back here and again i don't like to unpack things then i have to worry about trying to track them down using the part numbers so this is a i can't even pronounce that it's a circoff blend i'm going to open it up please forgive me my german is um is terrible so ah right so that is that's okay so that is so recognizable now so that's the piece of the main gun surrounds the main gun on here again beautifully cast beautifully cast and it's got some grub screws already installed that's obviously for retaining the gun 
or the sleeve potentially. So a beautifully cast piece, that. And even though it's small, it's really chunky and heavy. I'll just keep, oh, what I'll do is I'll pop that in that bag actually. That's that. I might have to start learning German, I think. Um, all right, what else have we got here? Well, this feels very much like a gun, and it is the gun barrel. No point on wrapping that. It's pretty obvious what that is. And what else have we got? I haven't seen anything to do with the hole at the moment. But I'm guessing it will be in here somewhere. The way they pack these is brilliant. Oh, this is a heavy piece. What is this? Now, let's go for something smaller first. Right. So these are, what are these now? Idler mounts, two idler mounts. So again, beautifully machined, aluminium block pieces, really nice weight to those. Um, and uh, that'll all go on my other bench here while I'm waiting to start the build. We've got a tiny little pack here, which is a gun shield door, yeah, a few bits and I think they're sort of hatches or something like that. But again, we'll worry about that. I'm not gonna open that up. We'll worry about that nearer the time. Um, as we start breaking this down, it's a really big, heavy piece there. Let's see if there's anything else I can get out of the smaller pieces. Feels like there's a lot of whole pieces underneath here. And this is the front mud guard. Again, beautifully packed, labelled, part number on there. Should correspond with the packing list. Um, this packing list here. Um, so again, I've had no problems in the past with any missing parts from Armatech. Um, in fact, it's one of the things I've experienced. Uh, I've had no difficult experiences with. It's all been very positive. So, you know, I really do appreciate what Armatech do and the way they pack these things. Uh, now, I'm just trying to see if there's anything small. Uh, there is another thing here. It's a heavy piece of metal. Skirt A and skirt B. So that's obviously the, the skirting panels that go along the, the side of the tank there. And again, I'm not going to unwrap these. There's a beautifully wrapped, labelled. Um, and if I unwrap them, I'll get confused. Right, so how are we getting on in here? Something else? This is fairly light. What is this? So this is the pannier. Okay, side panniers, two. Obviously left and right-handed side panniers. Um, I think I'll probably, I, mean, I, I, I don't think I need to unwrap those either. I mean, it's just a piece of aluminium sheet, metal, profiled. So let's have a look. What's this? It's a heavy old piece. Got my hands on here. Wow. Wow. Right. So that is the roof insert. So big old piece of metal for that. I think we could probably unpack that. Let's see what it is. Talk amongst yourselves while I'm doing this, I'm sorry. I also want to say that, you know, I continue to be blown away by the amazing comments you guys give me and the support. Um, you're, the, you're the guys that's fueling me on to do more of these because, I, I, you know, I, I love building these um, and I equally love interacting with you guys about these because these are expensive models. They are, um, but they are incredible. And the machining and the engineering that Armatech put to put into these is just mind yeah, mind blowing. So that is the that's what it looks like. So that's that. Um, again, I have no idea what I'm looking at, but it will all become apparent. Um, and that's the great thing about this these type of builds. The journey you go on um, is what the what makes it the hobby it is. Yeah. So I'm going to pop that just up there for now. That was heavy, and there's something equally heavy under here. What is this? All right, so this is the glacier plate. Right, so this is the front piece. So we'll unpack this. Again, it's quite sharp. These these edges are quite sharp. So if you are going to unpack these, just be careful. So that's the front glasses plate. I 
just by a quick look we can tell that obviously this is the main gun this looks like where the viewing panel would be here um, and we can get a, an inkling of the angle of this by the the profile here so obviously if that's going to be sitting something like that and the roof comes in at that level there so that gets you your sort of your kind of your 60 uh, 60 degree angle that these were built to and the front um, armor was thicker than the side armor um, which obviously would be a problem if it was to take around from the side so um, you know, the German crews would have been very aware of that and they would only really approach their target from the front um, and uh, as you can imagine not being able to rotate a turret your visibility was poor so it was pr primarily from the front although there was you know, you know periscopes etc on the tank so this looks like what have we got here so this is the hull side so it's two quantity So although, in, you know, it, it, in essence, it's a smaller tank, I think there's not much in it. Not much in it at all. This is uh, there's two of these, left and right-handed. All your various holes for fixing all the components to. Um, idler wheel and main drive wheel. Um, again, just beautifully cut out and uh, CNC cut by Armatech. So I'll pop that back in there. We have a left and a right hand of that. Starting to run out of room, but we'll make space. Where well, there's a will, there's a way, as they say. Um, and this is the body side, left hand and right hand. Right. Now remember, Armatech build these to scale. So when you think about the thickness of this side piece and then you compare it to the front piece like so you can begin to see so look, you can begin to see i'm guessing it goes something like that but you can see the, the difference in the thickness so it's quite vulnerable from the side but very strong from the front but because of the angle um it used to it was designed to deflect rounds um, and that's this piece here gives us our, our authentic, or if you like this, authenticates the um, tank as being an Armatech tank 2022, and this is tank number 14. Um, incredible, just incredible. Super, super excited about that. And that's the other one, the other side. So I'll put that back in there. Somehow, I'll, I'll work it out and um, we'll get these put to one side and start can we continue to go through this something this feels like the deck the bottom deck yeah it's the floor so that's the main floor that's heavy really heavy not going to unpack that yet because it's obvious what it is but you can you can begin to start seeing the the size of it so obviously everything's built up around it so this is not going to be a small tank by any means but um I can't wait to see it against the, the Persian and the Tiger, but we'll, we'll see how that pans out. So we'll pop that over there. Now, just be very, very careful about anything left in this box. You have to double check, as you've seen, there's a few small packs already. Doesn't look like there's anything else in here. Worth checking. No, nope, that's it, pretty sure. What I'll do though is I will empty this out into a bag um, so we can double check. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll, um, I'll put some of these components away and I'll get on to the next box. Right, box number two. See what we got in here. I mean, 
mean, the only thing I guess is in there is obviously about a ton of fixings as usual. Maybe track links, I've seen any of those just yet. And some other surprises. So again what I'll do is I'll just I'll take these flaps off. Just makes it packing list just pop that over there I will double check all of that I don't want to bore you with that um, as part of this unboxing so that's it we'll probably for the sake of it take these off as well just makes it a little bit easier all right so that's it hopefully you can see that uh, let's have a look through this, see what I can find. Like a lucky dip. Right, what is this? Okay, some big bag of fixings. Huge big bag of fixings, and I can see in here. I can see you can see that, but I can see there's brass bushes, there's bearings, there's hinges, there's bearings, there's copper pipe, um, there's some fixings well no there's not fixings another detailed things uh, I'm not going to unpack all of this now but that will become apparent uh, in the fullness of time so there are all the bits and bobs again with its packing list and hopefully if everything is as per usual with Armatech nothing will be missing in that bag and in case you do get uh, a delivery and there is something missing just contact Armatech directly and they'll sort it out. They're brilliant. Um, I think um, as a company that I've dealt with now, this is the sort of third tank that I've dealt with from Armatech. Um, I've had nothing but support and um, advice from Armatech. They're just a brilliant company. Um, and I cannot thank them enough for everything they've done to support me and this amazing hobby. So we have another bag of, um, I'm going to call it bits and bobs. Um, no idea what I'm looking at. This looks like there's some vents here potentially. Um, looks like a, I can see that what looks like a jack block or jacking block here. But I'm, I'm, I'm making this up as I go along because I have no idea. But anyway, look, we'll um, we won't again. I won't open everything in this bag because we'll be here forever. But we will open these obviously in the course of the build. So just carefully diving down into this wonderful grown-up lucky dip that Armatech give us to play with and a heavy, heavy piece what's this now this is the rear hull plate and the lower front plate so we can we can open these up take this out of the camera shot just for a minute that actually very satisfying noise that I would say that uh, if you're if you're about to, or you're seriously considering um, buying one of these tanks, um, and yes, the cost is uh, a massive factor, especially in this day and age. But this is, I wouldn't say it's entry level, but it's definitely f more affordable than one of the bigger tanks, the Hetzer. Um, and you're not going to get any less enjoyment from building it. And when it's complete, you'll have just as much fun driving it around and, and operating it. So if this is something that um, may suit your budget a little bit better than the bigger tanks, um, speak to Armatech because they still have some of these. Um, I don't think they've got many left, but they uh, um, they still got these. They're still a snark item. And it's like anything with Armatech. Once it's gone, it's gone. And occasionally they bring them back. But, you know, once it's gone, it's gone. Um, and the few of the builders that I've spoken to kind of kicked themselves for missing out on certain tanks. Um, like I, I would have loved to have built the Sherman tank, but that's gone. Um, are they going to bring it back? I don't know. I know they're bringing back the early variant of the Tiger, um, which, uh, you know, it, well, I wouldn't now wouldn't go for that because I've got the late variant, as you know. Um, so, you know, just, if, if it, this could be a really good option for you um, because it is, you know, a, 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 at least, well, I won't mention the cost, but it's, I'd say, you know, at least a quarter of potentially uh, of the costs uh, cheaper than one of these bigger tanks. 
Um, and uh, yeah, as I said, and if you and also I think Armatech do they do do um, you can speak to them about spreading payments as well. So that might be something you may want to consider. So I had a lot of people comment saying I'd love to build one of these tanks. You know, um, there's, there's yes, they're expensive, but you know, I, I, I'm very fortunate. I've saved up a lot of money and I've sort of stashed away. I've sold certain things to be able to get into this hobby. Um, and now I'm into this hobby. I'm, I'm just, I'm just loving it. Whether this is going to be the, the last one I ever build, I don't know. But for now, um, I'm enjoying the journey, um, and I hope that you guys continue to follow me and enjoy the whole process that I'm going through, from the amount that I've learnt so far uh, since since I started this, all those months and months and months and months ago with the tiger. Um, I've come on a long way. <laughs> ah, right, track links much smaller really small compared to obviously the um the tiger that's all sealed tiny compared to a fraction of the size of the big links but we'll do a bit of a comparison uh when we go on to doing the uh the tracks themselves and it's 210 so obviously 105 uh links per side and as always they're tremendous fun to put together um, they're all right, you know, just a bit tedious, but once you get into a rhythm, as I said, and play a bit of music in the background, it's sort of soon, time soon passes. Um, so that's the, the track links. So not so heavy as uh, the other two. What else we've got in here? I still haven't found the big bag of fixings that you would normally expect to find. I'm sure it's here, just a matter of trawling through. And this is a roof cover. I'm not going to unpack that. There's obviously some other components in here. That's the roof, uh, the roof cover. Let's see what else I've got in here. I've got a bag. Ooh, could this be the fixings bag? It, well, it is. It is. There you go. A bag of fixings. Beautifully packed again. And as I said before, I mean, whoever does this at Armatech, you know, what a, I mean, what, what a great job he does because, or he or she does, because they sit there and allocate, unless they've got a machine to do this, and I don't know, but if they don't, and there's a guy that does this, well done you do a great job um packing all these bagging them up putting the numbers on them and um you know it just and again i've never had a problem with the fixings they've always sent me they all tend to send more fixings than you need um, but at the same time always be careful you don't want to just assume that everything you need is, is there and there's extra um oh, these are with the track pins really small and dinky compared to the others but massive big bag and there should be 210 of those and there is what else we've got in here? Anything else? A lot of packing things in here. <laughs> Don't know. Oh yeah. This is something always oh, something. Ah look at that. These are the leaf spring suspensions. Look at that. I'm absolutely buzzing about getting these and, bit, and learning about putting these together um, because they're very much styled on or modeled on the, the full size um, tank so there's 52 of those that's going to be a brilliant I, I actually sincerely mean that I can't wait to get into that and just see how these work so that's that the, the leaf springs I think we're almost at the bottom of the box is there anything else I will carefully decant this box of all these packing peanuts before I do anything else with it. I do not want to throw anything away inadvertently. It feels like we're at the end of it. It does indeed. Yes, I think there's nothing else in there, but I will double check before I obviously put this into recycling and again these are all recyclable they're all environmentally friendly packing peanuts so we'll pop that down there out of the way um pop that over there out of the way and i'm just going to open the uh final box just to see these are the drive motors they should be the drive motors as i said i mean if you're not ordering them ahead of the ahead of the build um you'll only get the two boxes but you know from what i've understood and what i've been advised by armatech is you really should consider getting these drive motors 
way at the way ahead um, and straight away there's a, a sprocket ring so that could be the reason why I don't know whether that's connected to or these are supposed to replace the other ones but these look like steel rather than the aluminium ones so that could be the clue um, and we've got in here what have we got ball end joint I mean you know, so this is all other parts which I'm guessing is to do with the uh, the tank and not the drive motors or possibly how you mount that and that's the recoil pack there so they've sent me some other bits and pieces I wasn't expected but anyway brilliant um, we'll do that and then in here yeah two drive motors the same the same spec are they oh no they're slightly smaller so let's have a look at those oh. I'm so pleased I've gone for this because you know this just the already the variables on it um, you know I'm, you know Matt is, is looking to, looking towards a an interesting journey another journey of discovering um, and learning which is what I love there we go drive motors much smaller much smaller than the previous ones the ones that have been on these two but nonetheless beautifully made just beautifully engineered wonderful things wonderful 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 things so they're the two drive motors i will gonna i'll, I'll be packing all this away um and then i'll come back to camera and uh, talk about the plan for this build so that's it all unpacked uh check the boxes nothing else in there it's all gone off to the recycling pack now and um, we're ready to start building um, so the next time you see me we will actually start the build of this amazing kit Hetzer kit from Armatech another one to six scale full metal tank um, and I'm really really looking forward to getting started and I really hope you guys can yeah, join me on this journey as you have with the Pershing and the Tiger um, it's going to be a different it's going to be learning curves on the way it's going to be a different experience and as I said the final look and feel of the tank will be something along the lines of what I've got here printed on my t-shirt so it'll be an interesting journey for me with the paint as well because I've never done a camouflage uh, paint work on this type of thing at all done it on smaller scale stuff but and there's lots of new type of uh, detailing that I'm going to gonna get my head around so um, everything's unpacked as you can see here um, and as I said if you're going to go ahead and get one of these tanks make sure you get a really good reference book yes the instructions are included for the build but I think it's really really important that you get a really good quality reference book that will actually help you through the process as well so that's that um, so that's it for today um, I can't wait to get building on this and I really hope you join me so I'm Tony I'm about to build another tank and thanks for joining me and I look forward to seeing you next time